Homemaking and self-care. This is what I'm going to talk about today. <laughs> what led to this topic in this video? I stepped into a yellow jacket nest and I got stung by them and then I had an allergic reaction and then after that I had vertigo. So <laughs> I have a long way to recover and I'm going to take it easy. favorite storage system in the refrigerator is the zwilling bags with uh, the zwilling container and also I love to use glass jars generally speaking I think the glass just keeps the food fresh longer but I have some trouble with the long narrow shaped vegetables and let us how to keep them into something that has a lid so I ended up purchasing <laughs> this flat one and if you guys know anything that is exist in glass let me know down below in the comments I couldn't find one just plastic but I love the layout of this flat containers and this is very great for our refrigerator because we have very narrow shelves but it's deep so it's gonna be a great storage there I get to see what's inside them I really wish it would be glass but I think I'm gonna be still able to organize with this plastic one and I am going to put some lettuce in there and other sort of vegetables that are harder to store in jars. Have you tried golden berries yet? I haven't. I always ate them as a dried fruit but now I was able to score them as a fresh one and it tastes so delicious. It's very sweet. It's kind of reminding me of the gooseberries a little bit but sweeter. Mm. Yum! Mm. When I wash fruits and vegetables, I like to use salt. Since I was on the recovery, I didn't process all the vegetables I bought earlier and they started to look a little saggy so I'm going to use it in a recipe where it's okay to have a peppers like that. Now that the vegetables are all dry, I can put them into this organizer.
My friend just made this beautiful blanket for her sister who's about to have a baby and she just popped by to iron that out and we just chatting up like a storm. <laughs> You're like a stone on my pillow I don't make a sound when I shut the door The longer nights have begun, but we keep the warmth with this fireplace. I just love sitting around that, which we do quite often, so we can warm up our back. TV in the room, have a Netflix marathon, KG saxophone. We'll order in a bunch of food. I have some leftover tomatoes from my garden. I had those peppers. So I'm just making, basically it's a summer food, I shared this many many times, you just need some onions, peppers and tomatoes, I have to cook them together and you can serve it with some eggs and um, you can add some potatoes or rice, there's just many different versions of that, it tastes delicious, warm and cold. You don't know how much I want you. When I don't feel well, I like to focus on two things. One is the laundry, the other one is the food. So I'm making sure that we have something warm food that we can eat because it feels good to me as well, not just for my family. You can spend all day in bed. Put the TV in the room. We'll have a Netflix marathon. Yeah. <coughs> Ooh. Wow. A good hearty breakfast that I eat slowly <laughs> and not rushing is definitely helps to improve my health as well. I did a lot of rest at the beginning of the week and then soon as I felt like I can get up a little I did because it just makes me happier and I feel like generally just helps me to heal faster if I do a little thing so I'm not going to clean I just going to put away a couple of things vacuuming is easy and things that where I don't have to bend over and uh, because I don't want to trigger the dizziness but it felt so nice even just putting away the random items I am slowly gathering uh, the presents for Christmas so this is really fun to pack and this is kind of like a stocking for the boys which we celebrate uh, the St. Nicholas Day on the December 5th night to the 6th morning so this is something I set aside for that day and it's just only sweets but I know they're going to love it but a wonderful day We finally 
made a closet to my other son's room so this dresser he didn't need it anymore and there's another organizer that he didn't need it so i just pulled it into our closet walk-in closet and i am arranging things in there so it will be easier to access them i don't have to use the upper shelf i can separate the summer clothes from the fall ones and this little organizer is it we used to keep his hanging stuff there but <laughs> his shirt were way too long for that he all grown it and it's just much nicer setup that we have right now for him but i use this one to keep all my aprons on it now that the vertigo has calmed down i feel so much better but still i'm not 100 percent so <laughs> I haven't been outside as much so I'm just breathing in some fresh air <laughs> from the porch cleaning up a little bit around the fireplace uh, it gets messy but it's okay it's uh, in return we have a beautiful nice warm home <laughs> so i do appreciate that i like to use the brush to pick up the bigger chunks and then the rest i will take care of it with the vacuum cleaner putting away some fruits that Jord bought from Costco and also guys I have to show you something what I find so I have these beans from my garden and <laughs> you guys not going to believe it I find this willing version of the jars and all you need is this metal top and just place that plastic attachment to the top and then just like the zwilling one i just have to push the button um, and it works so i had the same system before but i had to have an attachment to my other vacuum seal machine i, I think it's called a machine and it was a big huge chunk and i was so sick and tired always dragging them down but now with this little wand it's so much easier so i can keep all the dried goods and powdered things and i can suck out all the air so it will stay fresh longer and it's so tiny to store Start with your name. One thing I know is that there should be there is no one feeling well or not the garden has no mercy <laughs> if it has a produce it will produce so i have a bunch of beans that i haven't processed and it st they started to go bad so i really had to be on top of that and this is one of my favorite i really think i'm going to plant some next year as well it's called the scarlet they are huge and since i get hungry again <laughs> I'm just going to warm up the dinner I made a couple of days ago with the peppers and tomatoes and I'm just going to add some eggs to it.
finishing up the beans So a few days ago when I was opening that storage box for the refrigerator I had these pictures in there and I just didn't want it to waste that because they looked so pretty. I'm going to reuse it and I'm going to put it into a frame and well if I get bored of it I can recycle it but I think it looks very cute in there. When I have to do the extra mile for my hat, <laughs> my poor family gets sucked into that too. <laughs> so I was thinking I am going to make some juicing because it's always, uh, I feel like I get more energy because it's packed with vitamins and it just makes my stomach feel good. I think it's amazing to drink while we do the detox so I'm going to make some and my family loves it anyway. Um, but as long as I don't go crazy with the celery and all the green stuff but these um, the apples and the carrots are definitely their favorite It's gonna be a nice refreshing snack once the boys are home from the school and Joat is home from work. Um, this is something I like to do probably in the morning, so even before we eat breakfast. It does make a nice snack on the afternoon as well. We'll have a Netflix marathon, Kenny G saxophone. We'll order in a bunch of food. I'll put your favorite music on all the way baritone. Shut the lights, go in for a This is not gonna be a long term storage. <laughs> I think my family will drink it fast, but I like to use this little jars for smoothies and juices. these long and narrow little beans and I like to put this in there because it functions as a little drawer in the refrigerator which is quite deep so I have an easier access that way well that was for this week guys <laughs> I survived that I'm here and I was able to put together a video which I questioned at some point if I'm gonna be able to do it but it's here and I'm glad because I know you guys waiting for the videos and for next week I'm excited to do uh, the next video and I'm looking forward to create the Christmas content as well thank you so much for watching until the end and I will see you soon in the next one bye I wonder